What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug and I'm back with my Ninja Foodie and today I'm gonna make Ninja Foodie Oxtails now of course um, didn't look like oxtails too much I marinated this um, overnight and I'll tell you what I put in there and so we'll break it open and um, brown it up and get the pressure cooking. By the way, you could slow cook this um, on high for about four to five hours and that would be even better, but we're gonna pressure cook it today and we're gonna have some fun with it. All right, guys, <clears throat> I'm just gonna take my Evo sprayer and spray out my uh, inner pot before I put my oxtails in to brown them up. Now you see my inner pot the way it looks. You'll know why by the end of the video because I'm doing some things kind of backwards and you'll know why at the end yeah that's good enough going to hit sear and saute hi yep start boom my seasoning was mostly this it's called green seasoning I got this at my Asian market which sells every type of freaking food that you can want and this is basically what it is, guys. You can, you know, you can chop this up yourself and do it, but it's just easy for me. Um, this was sitting in my refrigerator for about three months. Um, I used half of it, and I used the other half on this. So just wanted to get rid of the bottle, although it didn't expire till next year. I just felt weird with it sitting there. I also added this. I did use some soy sauce, low sodium. Uh two for one it gives it color and you know add some salty taste flavor um to the oxtails added some ginger and some um cayenne pepper and i let all that sit for overnight so let's go ahead and get this browned up Okay guys, I'm going to just use one cup of um, low sodium beef broth. I'm also going to flavor my um, broth up a little bit because I want some nice gravy out of it. I'm going to add some allspice to that as well. I'm going to add some of this in there just for a little bit more kick. Oh yeah. All right, guys, I'm just going to pour that all in there. And oxtail is going to give off a lot of oil, so don't put no more than one cup of liquid in there because a lot of oil is going to come out of these things. So I had these carrots sitting in the refrigerator, last of them. I'm just going to dump them in. Why not? Why not? <laughs> I'm just going to give it a good mix around before I turn on the pressure. I want to make sure I remove all the anything sticking to the bottom because I don't want any problems. You know what I'm saying? Just give it a nice little mix and then settle everything down. Man, that smells so good. All right, we're ready to put the pressure up. Hold up, I almost forgot. I didn't add that to my marinade, but I still can add it now. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's uh, what's your sister's SIM card? Uh, yeah, here we go. All right, guys, we're gonna go for a whole hour here. So pressure, high, let's go backwards. Can we go backwards, will it let me? No, okay. I was thinking about another pressure cooker. All right. Let's see. Yep. Will it go higher? 
Oh, look at that. Huh. It goes past an hour. How, how much does it do? Cool. Never seen that before. You know what? I'm going to do... I'm going to go ahead and do an hour. And, nah, I ain't going to do that to y'all. When I do it by myself, I'm going to do an hour 15. I'm going to do an hour right now. Let me go ahead and hit start. That's dope. All right, guys. We are done. Um, we're going to go ahead and release the pressure. All right. This is what we're looking like. I'm going to get the oxtails out and uh, drain the um, gravy. Get all that oil out. Go ahead and get this stuff out of here. Look at that, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. You can see it pulling off the bone. It smells good, y'all. Wish I could smell it, man. I really wish you could. Alright, guys. So, by the way, this is was two pounds of oxtails, by the way. Ran me about 14 bucks from my local meat market. So let's go ahead and drain this gravy, get all that fat out of it. All right. So this is my fat separator. I'll put a link in the description if you guys never saw it before or you can read up about it. What it does is just takes your gravy, your liquids, and takes separates the oil from the actual gravy. Puts the oil to the top. And then you squeeze the button and the gravy, all the pure gravy comes out the bottom. But we don't, we want all of this goodness. We don't want to throw it away at all. See? All empty. I don't know if you can see it, but that dark area that's that's pretty much the oil right there just took some vacuum sealed mac and cheese out the freezer I'll let this sit out well looky guys you know my instant pot mini did not blow up since I got a ninja foodie it's still here on my counter we're all living together All right, guys, using my um, three quarts um, steaming basket. I'll put a link in the description. I'm just going to put this on for a couple minutes and unfreeze it. And by the way, I put a half a cup of water in there. I did it for about nine minutes and it's all done. Although technically I did this first, um, we're going to make some uh, rice and peas, or I guess to you, rice and beans, but Caribbean people call it rice and peas. We're going to start with some regular Uncle Ben's rice, one cup. All right. You know what? Today I'm going to be different. I'm going to put three fourths of water and the rest coconut milk to get it to um, one cup, just for added flavor. You don't have to put coconut milk in there. You could just do one to one. You could do one cup of water, one cup of um, rice, but I want a little more flavor today. This was in my local market. Um, any coconut milk will do. All right, let me go ahead and pour that in. I'm going to go ahead and put a little splash of ginger in there. Some black pepper. A little bit of allspice. Not too much. Yeah, that should be good. Add a little bit of salt, but we can always add some more at the end if we need it so you don't have to go crazy here. I also chopped up half of a small onion. That's optional too. You don't really have to do that. But again, we're 
looking for flavor. And finally, um, I got some kidney beans. I'm going to drain, um, I wouldn't say half of it, but like a little less than half of uh, the, the uh, little oily juice out of it. And then just pour the rest in. All right, and just dump that in there. One can. A lot of people ask me where I got this from. This is my Spurtle, um, part of my Spurtle set I got on QVC, silicone Spurtle set. I don't know if they still sell it, but that's where I got it, guys. So I'm just going to give it a good mix. And then that's it. Then we'll put the top on. That smells good. It smells really good right now. Yummy. Alright, let's close this up. Alright, so we got um, hit pressure. We will run it on high. And we're just going to do, we're going to follow the manual this time. We're going to do two minutes and let it um, let it rest for 10 minutes before we manually release the pressure. So this should be interesting. Always be sure that you're on the seal position. All right guys, you hear it coming to pressure? We're getting there. It smells fantastic already. Mm. All right, we'll be back in two minutes. All right, we are done. So let's see. Now, actually, set timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. Remember, we said we we're going to just let it sit there for 10 minutes and then manually release it. So that's what we'll do. Just cut off the ends and slit, a, slit it in the middle. trying to decide what I'm going to use. I guess I'll air fry them. I was going to brown them, um, you know, cook them using the browning function, but I'll just air fry them in the foodie, I guess. Spritz it with that. Or whatever olive oil spray you may have is fine. You want to do that to both sides. What I do, as some of you guys know, I'm going to flip it into the air fryer and then do the other side while it's in there. But you could do both sides if you want now. It's totally up to you. I could have also used my Evo oil sprayer, but I just wanted to show you a different spray that you could use that you could buy at your local supermarket as well. All right, go ahead and turn it off and release, uh, manually release the uh, pressure. Smells fantastic. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this works. Cool. Let me get this in the Tupperware and uh, let's move on. All right, guys, I got my rack in my in a pot. I'm just gonna spray it. Real quick, just to make plantains are real funny, so you definitely want to spray out your rack as well as um, hit it with some olive oil both sides. Or believe me, it will stick, trust me, when you're air frying it. All right, guys, like I said, I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. So I'm just going to hit it with some salt. And then I'm just going to, again, spray it. And that's it. We're ready to air fry. It should take about um, you know, 10, to, 10 to 15 minutes, I'd say. I'd say 10 minutes. So let's close the hood and see what we got. All right, guys. So we're going to go to Air Crisp. We want 400. I'm going to do... I'm going to do... I'm going to do 12 minutes. Let's, let's, let's do 12 minutes. Flip at 6. at the six minute mark let's go ahead and check it out uh, we need a little bit longer I see the edges uh, crisping up but 
Ah, I'll put it for another three minutes and let's see. Yes, that's what I wanted to see. All right. So now I'm going to flip them over. All right, guys. So I took the uh, rack out and then flipped them and I put it back in and we'll go for the rest of three minutes and see how we're looking. I think we should be good in three minutes. Three more minutes. So it worked out. Nine minutes on one side, three minutes on the other. Bam. All right, guys. We are ready to start up a plate. Shout out to my Kitchen Gadgets group on Facebook one time. All right, guys. There we have it. We are ready to eat. So... Let's get into this oxtail right away. And I'm telling you, an hour is all you need. You don't need no more than an hour. It's fall off the bone. Let's go ahead and get it, give it a try. You first. Got it? That's just so good. That's good. Now, like I said, if you don't have that green seasoning, all you really need is, you definitely need some garlic powder, black pepper, salt, onion powder, black pepper, that, that'll be fine. And add some other of your favorite, maybe spices. Let's have some of this mac and cheese that we, we took out of the, from frozen from a three quart instant pot mini. Y'all have some. You got it? Good. Tastes just as good as the first time. No, definitely. Utilize that. If you got something frozen, put it on a rack, put it in your um, pressure cooker. Eight to ten minutes. Won't be frozen no more. Be on your table ready to eat. Now, it's got a little bit of French dressing on it, but that's alright. Y'all take these plantains. Or plantains, as y'all call it. Mm. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. One thing I want to mention before I go with the rice. If you do the rice my way, um, you're going to have to add some more seasoning to it. Some more um, ginger, some more allspice. I usually like to just wait till my rice is done to fully season it because... I never get it right the first time, so I just put just enough to get a a taste and then just finish it off when it's done. That's just how I do it. So anyway, I'm going to sit down and enjoy this, by the way. So before I go, I want to let you know that I'm going to put a link in the description to the uh, gravy divider, the Evo sprayer, if you need that. Put a link in uh, the description to my uh, foodie group. It's called... Uh, Ninja Foodie Nation. All right, we got over 550 people now, or something like that, or, or a little bit more. Um, so if you have a foodie, definitely join that group for sure, right? Um, but also, I'll, I'll leave a link to my air fryer group. We have over 48,000 members there. Um, if you have a foodie, join that group. You can get some air fryer recipes. Why not, right? I'll also leave a link to my pressure cooker group. Um, which can you can utilize as well because this is all in one machine. If you have a foodie or if you have a pressure cooker, join my pressure cooker group. And also as a bonus, I'm gonna leave a link to all of, um a playlist to my foodie videos. I think it's about eight of them now. And then I'll leave a link to a playlist to my air fryer videos, which is over a hundred videos that I've already made using air fryer recipes. So check that out too. Just get some ideas. Why not, right? It's free. <laughs> Other than that, that's all I got. Um, if you got an Instagram, hook, uh, look me up there, Cooking with Doug. But other than that, hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. And if anything, thanks for just even looking at this video, y'all. And as always, I'm out.